Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you guys, but I've been stuck in my house for the last two weeks and I am literally starting to go crazy. Look at these selfies that I've taken in the last two weeks. Like that is so embarrassing. So I thought this would be a really cool video to just have a ultimate glow up transformation. I also want to go ahead and give a big shout out to Rooted Rituals for sponsoring today's video. So I've been using their ginger root hair care products for a while now and my hair has been the healthiest it has ever been. You can get the products at Walmart. So if you guys want to check any of these products out, um, I'll have them all linked down below for you. If you guys have not already subscribed, make sure to go ahead, hit the little subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and turn on that post notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. So with that being said, let's hop into step one of this glow up. The number one thing for me when it comes to a ultimate glow up is hopping in the shower. And so I'm not talking like a normal shower. I'm talking going in there, exfoliating, shaving, deep conditioning, putting on a hair mask, deep shampooing. Actually, that's one thing I feel like we are really bad at. I feel like so many times people always talk about keeping like the ends of your hair super healthy and people are always talking about what deep conditioner they have and all of that, but no one ever really talks about what they're doing to keep their scalp healthy. So recently I've been using this clarifying shampoo. I didn't even know that this was even a thing until recently and it has changed my life because my hair has been the healthiest it has ever been. And so this has ginger root and it has charcoal in it to really just help reset my scalp and it also helps just like detox my hair like I don't even think we realize how much can build up in our roots and on our scalp yes it is important to focus on your ends of your hair but it's also super important to focus on your roots after you wash your face which you can either do that in the shower or out of the shower if I'm in the shower I'm probably gonna wash my face in the shower but now it is time to moisturize which is so important and I feel like we just like we just don't do it and you're gonna feel so good once your skin is left all like soft and hydrated step number three for a perfect glow up is makeup now by no means am I saying that you need to wear makeup to look pretty if you want to skip the step you totally 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 can I just think it's fun like I feel like I feel really confident when I have makeup on and I just really like the process of actually putting it on so I am gonna put on makeup for this glow up but do not feel like you have to by any means Okay, so we can't forget about our hair. So earlier you saw that I was using this clarifying shampoo. So now I'm going in with this cooling and strengthening tonic. So all I'm gonna do is just section my hair off into, you can do big sections or little sections. I don't really think that it matters. And I'm just gonna be putting two to four drops onto my scalp in each section. So you could use this stuff every single day if you want. So this just really helps cool your scalp and promote thick, healthy hair growth over time. You could either go in with your fingers and rub it in, or I love using the rejuvenating scalp massager. Like you guys ever have someone like play with your hair? I don't know about you guys, but that's like my love language. I love when people play with my hair and that massager is like having someone literally just like massaging your hair. It's amazing. Step five is blow drying. I know a lot of people hate blow drying their hair and I am definitely one of them I just don't like it because it causes so much damage in your hair um, And then if I could avoid you know a little bit of damage I definitely will so I personally just use the coolest setting on my hair dryer and I'll blow it out until it's just around like 80% of the way dry and then I'll let it air dry from there another thing that I think is so important when it comes to a glow up like our whole goal here is just to just come out of this feeling so confident and I feel like a cute outfit is like perfect for that. All I've been wearing recently is like sweatpants and like hoodies, like that's about it. And so I think it's really important for a glow up to pick out a really cute outfit. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. It doesn't need to be a dress or even like jeans. It doesn't even need to be jeans. Like I'm literally, I picked out leggings, a black t-shirt and this Sherpa. Like that's not that fancy, but it's something that I feel really confident in and it's so comfortable. Now for my favorite part is to style my hair. I think style, I don't know. I just think that this is like one of the funnest parts in a glow up. I've 
this point my hair feels so soft and healthy my favorite hairstyle to do is just creating these loose beachy waves almost like Victoria's Secret waves and so that is what I'm going to be doing for today's glow up so I always go in with a one and a quarter inch barrel and I just I literally curl my hair as fast as possible like it there's no real rhyme or reason if a piece isn't super curled like it's fine I just like throw it in there I really am just not strict when it comes to creating curls in my hair and I think that's what makes it look a little bit more natural when my hair is completely curled I'll just go in and just like play with them and just create really really loose curls because I don't want them to look like I just used a curling iron on them I just want them to look like I don't know like this is like natural if that's possible <laughs> step eight for a perfect glow up is definitely food 100% food you know I'm having an amazing day or something happened or I am in a glow up whatever it is when my nails are painted because I just don't have time for it I'm so busy all the time that I never have time to paint my nails and so I made sure to put that on the list solely for that reason so I went ahead and just gave myself a little mini manicure and pedicure it doesn't have to be anything perfect to me a manicure and pedicure just makes me feel so relaxed and it makes me feel like I have like my stuff together and that was it for my how to glow up video i hope that you guys enjoyed if you guys did you guys already know the drill make sure you go ahead hit the little subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up and turn on that post notification bell to be notified every single time i post a new video also just a little disclaimer you once again you do not need makeup or having your hair done or wearing a cute outfit to feel confident or beautiful you do not need that by any means i just i feel like glow ups are great for just getting you like that little like kickstart. like sometimes i feel like i just need a little pick me up to like boost my confidence and just feel really good about myself especially because I've been cooped up in my house that I just felt like this would be the perfect video not only for you guys but also for me one last thank you to Ruta Rituals for sponsoring today's video thank you so much and if you guys want to I will have all of their products down um, in the description box you can also pick them up at Walmart if you wanted to do that but that was about it for the video I love you and I will see you all soon bye